plant one yam in the ground, nature gives you as much as two in return. But when you plant one yam in the air, technology could give you up to 10. We'll be visiting smart farms of PS Nutraceuticals on this episode of Startups to see how they're leveraging on tech to fight food shortage in Nigeria. There's a, a plethora of, of arable land, but it's being underutilized. So we just said, okay, you know what, let's take advantage of this. We have as a country to feed. We have to ensure that Nigerians are getting affordable, clean, safe, and healthy food. Rather than plant yam seeds in the soil, PS Nutraceuticals procures yam vines and plants them in an aeroponic system, a farming technique of planting crops in the air while they absorb nutrients in a mist environment. After three or four months in the greenhouse, the vines are introduced to sand in the nursery to strengthen their roots. After one month in the nursery, the vines are transplanted to the field where they grow into yam seeds. Agricultural experts say the aeroponic system beats the traditional way of cultivating yam because it produces far more yield in a shorter time. From one vine you put on the system, you have 20 possible vines, which means you have 20 possible yam sets or 20 possible seed yams, which means that one yam gives you 20. That is the implication because we count one node or one vine as one yam. So if we put one node on the system, it gives us 20. So one to 20 versus one to two. That's the math. But it's more than just numbers. Planting the aeroponics way also means the yams are not exposed to pests or other diseases that affect crops in the field. This tech powered system is also an efficient way of ensuring year round food sufficiency. Here's a country whereby we're, pun we're punching far below its weight. Um, there's a, there's, a, there's a, a plethora of, of arable land, um, but it's being underutilized. So we just said, okay, you know what, let's take advantage of this. We have as a country to feed. We have to ensure that Nigerians are getting affordable, clean, safe, and healthy food. And let's also um, apply technology as well. So um, yes, it was just a, it's, it's a calling, it was essentially a call to arms to come and to feed a nation, to empower people, to empower smallholder farmers, and in, to ensure that the price of food also comes down as well. What we did is that we were fortunate enough to have young, enterprising, like-minded Nigerians who joined us and so forth, and um, believed in um, the journey we were on, and believed in Nigeria becoming self-sufficient in food, and also coupled with the fact that they also found the technological aspect of it exciting as well. When PS Nutrack began operation in 2016, farmers were skeptical about the idea. But through demonstration trials, they've been able to convince the traditionalists over to the tech side of farming. We give them seeds, um, you know, which come from our aeroponic system, and we say, okay, plant this and compare it to your by and best variety. And you know, let us know and come back to us with the results. And by and large, what they've seen is that what we've been giving them is far more, is more, is far more um, effective. They're getting greater yields from the clean and healthy seeds that we're giving them. So with that, with that what they're saying is that, okay, we're ready for these seeds that PS Nutrack has. Please come and give it to us and provide for us as well. So not only will it empower farmers, but it also ensure that the cost of yam and so forth also drastically reduces as well. Patrick comes from an economics and management background, but he started PS Nutrack with his friend, Samson Ogoli, because of his passion for agriculture and commitment to achieving the second sustainable development goal of zero hunger. This was more just built out of a, a, a passion and an interest in the sector. Um, just looking at Nigeria, our population, the amount of arable land we have, I just said, okay, you know what? We st a, nation, a nation has to be able to feed itself. You know, that's, it's, it's, it's absolutely paramount. A nation that can't feed itself becomes um, you know, becomes beholden to another nation and so forth. So for me, it was just a case of, okay, you know what, let me 
try and learn as much as possible um, about this sector and you know that's what I did essentially online learning as much as I could absorbing it and then come on putting it into and his investments has been paying off for the past three years PS Nutrek has been using aeroponic technology to grow yam seeds which they sell to farmers the farmers then replant the seeds and get higher yields during harvest the yam sector alone is worth about 12 billion dollars um, as according to statistics from the Food and Agriculture Organization in Nigeria alone, Nigeria is the largest producer of yam. And this is all without the requisite inputs such as seeds and so forth and, um, you know, mechanization, technology, um, processing and so forth. So if you add inputs such as what we're doing with seeds and then farmers are getting seeds in greater numbers, cleaner and healthier seeds and so forth, and people are then begin, um, able to harvest where yams and process and so forth, what we'll see is that that figure will triple you know, and quadruple you know, in next to no time. More attention needs to be given to the sector. There needs to be more financing put in place. We need to have adequate land laws in place and to, ensure, you know, to ensure that you know, we can optimize all the arable land that we have and so forth. Um, you know, there needs to be insurance. Um, we need to have better road networks. Um, power is a major impediment as well. You know, we, essentially, we have our own solar system as well as the fact that we also um, also have a generator as well for backup. You know, so power costs are also a major impediment as well. So all of these things, if we can put all these things in place, um, then the sector will, will boom for sure. PS Nutrack have tested the aeroponic system on about 200 crops, and the consistent result is more yield with lesser space in a shorter time. With this potential for an agricultural boom, PS Nutrack is positioning itself to harvest over 3 million yam seeds in the next nine months. And their vision only gets broader from there. Basically, it's to replicate this across different parts of the country. Empower people and empower farmers, you know, um, bolster the economy's growth, ensure food security and so forth. So literally, it's to have a smart farm in every part of the country. And eventually, even expand into Africa as well. For a country that has spent over 40 trillion naira on food imports in the past 21 years, Nigeria is one of many food deficient countries in Africa with over 5.1 million children malnourished. That's why PS Nutric have been organizing seminars and enlightening people on the benefits of growing their own food through aeroponics. They're also working to increase local food production and end reliance on imports because for them, the goal isn't to make profit, but to bring Africa into agricultural abundance. Next up, we'll be visiting Delta State to see how Chimwike of Chewing's Farms has been adding value to Nigeria's economy through fish farming and processing. Our uniqueness is what makes us stand out, you know. It's not the way you see it in the market. It's even our desire that, you know, with time, the old system of processing fishes will gradually fizzle out. Because this is what happens. You get to test a product, the next minute, you don't want to test anything but this. That's how it's been. You test it today and you cannot but. So our clients always get to tell us that there is this unique thing about our taste and we should not get to drop it. And you know the beautiful part of it? We have our fishes with shelf life of more than 30 days. So you can have our fishes kept there. You don't want to eat it now, next week. It is there in your shelf. You want to put it in your fridge. You can put it there for at least 30 days. Some can go as more of, as more like three months shelf life. So these are the uniqueness of our fishes that I would say makes us stand out. My name is Chiwike once more, and this is Chiwike's Farm. From all over Nigeria, wholesalers and retailers come to Chiwike's Farms in Delta State, South South Nigeria. What brings them here is fish, smoked, spiced, and gutted. Chiwike's Farm is an agro-allied and agro-processing firm. We are specialized in the production and the processing of healthy fishes for general consumption. In Chewing's farms, we 
we are specialized in the processing of healthy sand free well gutted sourced fishes now they are well gutted sourced fishes they are not the normal market fish you find you know they are well sourced sand free and we get to use some unique sources you know that are healthy for humans you know sources like garlic ginger turmeric you know all of this put together we have our unique sources that are very healthy for for human consumption now when this is done when these things are produced we have already a very large market audience you know and it's it's really pretty alarming that as i speak with you we cannot even meet up to the market that is standing before us we oftentimes get to you know partner with a few other farms to see if we could ensure we meet up and we have individuals who are like um, wholesalers outside Delta State. You know, people are calling from Abuja, from Lagos, from Port Harcourt. We want fishes in bulk that we can sell over there. So because of that, the, the, the what's it called? The, the market audience is, is really, is pretty high. And I, I feel it's, it's lucrative. As, as long as the market is even higher, the demand is more than the supply right now. I feel it's, it's something to think about. Chiwike Uwangho might make thousands of naira every month from his farm, but he didn't start out with profit in mind. He has an unmistakable passion for fish farming, and that's what got him started in the first place. The joy of seeing them just play around, toss around, you feed them and they're just moving, it's just it's pretty exciting. And before you know it, I just stay having this love for it, and from the love and passion for it, I thought of how to make finance, you know, roll from this thing. Instead of just doing fishes for home use, and then that's how we started. And before you know it, one pond, two ponds, three ponds. And then I had about this opening by the state government, the job creation office beside me. And I picked up a form and somehow my name got out. I was called for an interview and then we went hard. With an interest and goal in mind, Chiwike applied for an entrepreneurship training opportunity by the Delta State Government. He was trained for three months and was empowered with three ponds, 2,000 fishes, and 145 bags of feed to start off. With a new skill and capital at his disposal, Chiwike delved not just into establishing his fish farm, but also training others who want to explore aquaculture. We started small. But the passion was there. Now, amidst just having the passion, we went out for trainings. So, right now, I can tell you, we have been trained so we can also train others. And that's why we offer trainings to 15 persons free of charge every year. Because this is something we feel we, we do to, you, you know, to give back to the community, you know. So we offer free trainings for 15 persons every year. Afterward, any other person that is going to be trained will have to do some payment. This 2,000 hectares of land was given to him by the Delta State Government. And he has successfully grown his farm from 3 ponds to 12 and from 2,000 fishes to 12,000. He specializes in farming catfish and tilapia because it's the right species for the available resources at demand. There's so many fishes in their species, but we know that there's a difference between fresh water and of course salt water. Some of these fishes don't thrive in our, our water here, do you understand? So we have just a few of them that thrive here and also with the type of pond. You know, there are several types of pond, the earth pond, the concrete pond, the tarpaulin pond, you know. So with the kind of pond we do here, we use here, catfish is the best for it. So that's why we go for catfish and also for tilapia. And also the market uh, value. Some persons don't get to value certain kind of fish. So we don't want to have fishes that we cannot sell. So we basically run catfish and tilapia. What sets him apart from competitors is the added value to his product. He doesn't just farm and sell live fishes. He also smokes them in fish drying ovens after gutting the fish and seasoning it with natural ingredients. Our uniqueness is what makes us stand out, you know. It's not the way you see it in the market. It's even our desire that, you know, with time, the old system of processing fishes will gradually fizzle out. Because this is what happens. You get to test our product, the next minute, you don't want to test anything, 
but this. That's how it's been. You test it today and you cannot but. We have been doing well in terms of our processing. Um, we don't only train live fishes, we process the fishes also. With different sizes and different shapes, different sizes, depends on how you want it. We have the coded ones, we have the cut ones. Um, our packages ranges from 3,000, 1,005, 20,000, 10,000, just depends on what you want. And we never ever fail our clients. We always deliver. And we don't just deliver, we deliver the best quality. Four years ago, Chirike was an unemployed graduate. But he took a risk to explore a passion and he's now reaping the benefits with a thriving business and multiple investors. He advises others to do the same. Guys, just sit down. I believe that whatever it is we require to become what we desire to become in this life, I feel it's inside of us, just waiting to be recognized. It's not far. You want to go here and you know, just sit down and think. It's not far-fetched. Get a pen, get the writing material, sit down, go somewhere very quiet and think. And you realize that, ah, I could do this, oh. I could do that. Oh. And then the second you desire to start, don't talk too much, just start. In the midst of abundant aquatic resources, Nigeria imports as much as 3.32 million metric tons of fish every year making her the fourth largest importer of fish in the world. This production gap reveals an untapped fisheries industry with a latent potential to boost Nigeria's revenue earning and meet the dietary needs of her almost 200 million people. And it's farmers like Chiwike that are working to turn Nigeria's status around from a fish importer to a major exporter. I am so inspired that if you don't see me next week, just know I ran off to start my own business. Just kidding. Many thanks for joining us again on Startups on TV360 Nigeria. I am Annette Felix. Bye for now.